Hello everyone and welcome to episode 18 of my TV Excuse series and today is all about Yuno's Kimiwasaki Iku and that is his Japanese album. Now Yuno's discography is turning out to be so diverse. I don't even know what to expect anymore whenever I go into a new album of his because at first it gave kind of dense type of vibe. Next, he went for something a little bit more mysterious. With this one, this one is like slow kind of music. It like it slowed, he slowed things down for this album and I really love it. It's like you got so many different Unos with his discography. It's insane. And I love the fact that he, he doesn't just sit on one thing and just go along with it because it suits him well, but it actually take the effort to give you something new each and every time. Because I personally hate when artists just give you the same reheated concept all the time. It's just the title of the songs that are changing, but overall it's still the same old thing. I really love artists that diversify themselves, try something new. You don't necessarily have to go away from your core sound, but there are things that you can do to bring freshness to your music. And what I love with Yuno's discography is that with each and every album, it's like he embodied a new persona. And I really love it. And even when he was this new person for the sound for this particular album, you could still, ha you still had the essence of what Yuno is as an artist. And that's all that I want from somebody that I stand. It's like, give me fresh concept. Or if you're sticking to your sound, do something to make it feel new and exciting. And that's what Yuno does. And this album was just so good. From the moment it started, it was already a vibe. It's like with the past album, the song choice that is critical. And the, the songs that he chose as the opener was really a gateway into this whole entire world and also just really putting you in the mood and give you giving you something really good to start off with which is just going to make you want more and because the rest of the album is as good as that opener it ends up being being such a great um moment but like with noir with this one as well there is a song that's just so good it overshadows all the other songs on the album they are all good but this one has just something extra to it and the song that i'm talking about is easy to know I'm not 
That was my favorite song in this album. Like, how can you listen to the song and not fall in love with it? As soon as it started playing, I knew that was going to be the one for the album because it did something that I love, which is take everything away, have a very simple melody, a very simple beat, and let his talent do the talking. And I love it. Oh, that chorus hits it and every time. That part, that, um, the way he sings, easy to know. Oh my God. The bridge. Like, this song, this song really, really gets me. Like, I mentioned in the past episode how I've actually never really commented on how good of a vocalist you know is you know because generally in the group is the one that brings in the energy of course he also like sings really well and does other stuff in the group but like let's say they both give off energy but there's just something extra <laughs> um passionate about you know and so because his energy is so overwhelming most of the time that's what i'm commenting on but since i started actually listening to his own solo music i'm just reminded of how good and talented he is as a vocalist and i love the fact that with his own solo music he didn't shy away from going for vocal centric song you know because it could have been really easy for him to just go with something really hype he has songs like this as well as in in his own solo discography and that's something that really suits him but i really like the fact that he didn't let this kind of box him into a certain category but it really went above and beyond it really went in the studio and was like listen take everything down let me sing. I just love this song. It's so good. Uh, this one is definitely making my year end list for sure. It's just so good. Uh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm even at a loss of words about how beautiful this song is. And you know, really impressed me with this one. Let me know in the comments which song from this album ended up being your favorite, what's your favorite overall when it comes to you know, and also if you want more, check out TVXU dedicated playlist on the channel. That's it for me today. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.